I heard a lot of your wonderful music、uh, through YouTube with the concert. When you play, you, you have your hair up, and privately, you have your hair like down, right? Yes, it's more comfortable, and、um, I'm looking on the keys, and sometimes、yeah. I'm looking around, and it's much more comfortable to have my hair together. My hair is very long.、Mm. And If I don't put it together, it would fall down, and then I don't see anything, and then the audience would also not see my face. And I'm, I'm always also when, when I'm listening and watching to other musicians, I think it's、yeah. also very interesting to see the face expression. Not, yeah. Well, this is it's just it's comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, because、um, I saw like a, like a documentary、uh, video of you, and、uh, of course, you, when you're talking,、um, you look much younger. When you're performing, you look more serious. I think that happens to everybody. Because, for example, I hate when I'm playing, I hate my face. I look like a witch. I always say, please don't、oh, no. you know, come hear me. So,、um, also, you look much, much more younger when you're talking. Yes, I, I hear this often. Yeah, but、uh, it's, it's nice to have different styles, different、it's、outfits.、It's, yeah. So, your parents, your father and your mother, they are both pianists, right? Yes. So, so I mean, you had a really、uh, like、a musical piano education since you're very, very young.、Uh, yes, I was born into a family where everyone was playing the piano. Yeah.、And、I think that children, they are doing what parents are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always part of my life. And I'm happy that I grew up with so much music because I believe、mm. that music is good for us for、um, nearly everything in life. It gets, it, it's improved with music, it's、mm. the health, it's our happiness in life, it's、yeah. our. Ability to go through different emotions, different、mm. times, memories. I'm very happy that I grew up in a very musical environment. So, your father was your first teacher or your mother?、Uh, both of them. And that、oh. was very interesting also for me、yeah. to、uh, have both as teachers because they are both、uh, very, very talented and very、yeah. great teachers and very、yeah. different.、Uh, sometimes I had to. Also, choose which way I'm going yeah, to go. Yeah. And I already learned very early that I have to find my own voice and my、mm. own way as a musician.、Mm. I think this is very important. And th- this was very interesting to have already in my family t h i s different k i n d of in- influences on the performance. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're in Cologne since you're 13 years old? Um, we moved from Russia to Germany when I、yeah. was six years old. And first, yeah, we lived in a, no, I was six first. Six, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, I, we moved together with my parents and my、yeah. sister to a little city in Germany, which is called、yeah. Wuppertal.、Uh-huh. And then I moved to Cologne and began my studying、um, yeah. when I was 16 years old.、Uh, so now you've, you've, you've speak Russian with your family at home. But of course, now Germany, German must be very, like, very fluent for you, too. Yes, I have very mixed roots. My parents were born in the Ukraine. I had my first six years of my life in Russia. I'm fluent in Russian. Yeah. And in Germany, I learned German. So the two languages are like my mother languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you moved to、um, Germany, did you go to、um, German school? Yes, I went education. Yes, normal German school. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your sister is elder or younger? She's three years、uh, older. Oh, is she a musician? She also plays the piano and she teaches also. Yeah.、Oh. Everyone in my close family has something to do with piano in her own very different way. Yeah. yeah. And this connects all of us somehow.、Mm. It's. Beautiful. So, do you sometimes play like a four hands with your sister? Oh, we live in different cities. Oh, I see. We should do it more often, maybe. Oh, so、um, from the beginning, she lives in different c i t i e s 
Yes, she um, already started to study in a different country. She was in uh, London in the Judy Menon School studying. Oh, and then she yeah. Moved to a different city in Germany, which is far away. So when we have time together, we spend yeah. it talking because there's oh. always a lot to talk about when we didn't yeah. see each other for a while. So, still, you talk to your sister very often. Do you talk about music, um, about piano, and uh, about, about music? Everything. Everything. Oh. I have music also, of course. And with my parents also, there is um, always mm. some space also to talk about music. It's, it's uh, yeah, part of our life, all of us. Yeah, yeah. I especially liked when you were playing the Scriabin Waltz. I didn't know that the Waltz. Uh, not many people play that Waltz, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but I, I don't really care how many performances are out there. I play music that I love. Yeah, and that's why I was impressed because I I, that, I love that piece and not many people play that piece and I love that the Scriabin Waltz. So I just feel the love you have for the, that piece. Yes, I, I really, really love this piece. It's true. Yeah, because mostly people play that Scriabin Preludes and Etudes, you know, that this uh, the one popular one. Everybody plays the same piece. But I, I like that the world was very interesting, very, very musical and deep. So um, actually, that was my favorite performance of you when you were playing that piece. Thank you very much. So, do you choose uh, what you like to play or your teacher advises you to play? Like, why don't you play? Do you choose I, you? I choose what I love because I think yeah. that when I really love yeah. a piece and this is a different way of performance mm. this, this chemistry like between two people yeah and i think that we can we cannot have a big influence on that you love a piece or you don't and yeah the world of music is so big huge and rich and full of different musical mm -hmm. styles, different pieces and there is so much space for choosing the music that you love and when you love the piece and when you identify with this piece very yeah. much and open all your emotions then the audience will also feel this mm -hmm. what I believe in I listen to my intuition and my heart when I choose the program yeah. especially um, you being Russian yourself um, do you have different um kind of passion when you play Scriabin, Rachmaninoff, Prokofiev, what, what is the difference you you feel between the tonality of these composers, different composers, Russian composers, like Prokofiev, Rachmaninoff and Scriabin, example? I think that there is a lot of amazing music coming mm. from Russia. Mm. I don't know if it has to do with my roots or if it has to do with something else mm -hmm. i think that music from russia is very popular around the world because it's just amazing amazing amount of different composers especially in the 19th century mm -hmm. um, also not so much well-known composers mm. like Leadov, yeah, yeah. there's so many names and also the more popular ones i think yeah. that this is music that we all somehow carry in our hearts and i i can't i can't really say if this is because of my roots mm. or not I, I know people around the world from all countries who love this music so it, it must be something more than our roots mm. and for now what which composer do you like now to perform at this moment if you play in the, in the coming season which composer are you interested in one of the composers mm. that I nearly always have on my concerts, maybe is an encore if I'm playing a piano concerto by a different composer, is Frederic Chopin. Mm -hmm. oh, it's always with me my whole life in my solo recital program. I'm playing the four ballads right now, mm -hmm. which I enjoy so much because each of them is amazingly beautiful. Yeah, and they, they work so beautiful together as as one part of the concert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nocturne, some Mazurka, there's so much amazing music. Also, Rachmaninoff, Graben, Beethoven, Mozart. 
Um, from the four ballads, which is your favorite? I know you like all the four ballads, but especially, do you have any special feeling for any? I think the third one. Third, oh, yeah, yeah. So much light and so much joy, mm. which is amazingly beautiful. The first one is so passionate and and has this lyrical part, which I mm. love about Japan so much. It touches very much. The second one has this contrast between mm. drama. Mm -hmm. and, and lightfulness is two different worlds and, and beautiful coda in the end. The fourth is maybe the the largest of all of them. There is so many things happening, many voices and even longer phrases, even more drama. This mm -hmm. is the longest story of all of them. It's really difficult to say. Um, but right now, Maybe I would say the third one. A third one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is your like um, favorite pianist? The past, you know, the any pianist you admire as a musician, as a pianist. There are many of them. Mm. Um, I personally love sometimes to listen to different recordings because mm. it's such a beautiful inspiration and a joy. Um, the first name that just first names that come to my mind is um, I must say that Mitsuko Shida is one of my very oh, oh yeah yeah uh -huh. so amazing I think I, I had a conversation with my father once and we agreed on that we should start a day with listening to Mozart by Mitsuko Shida what she does she's such an amazing artist and her Schubert is also uh, yeah it's a very nice to hear being a, like you chose a Japanese pianist I'm happy <laughs> It's a, yeah, she's she's. I, I told her many different interviews also that she's 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 amazing. Really respect her so much. I I met her once. Yes. Had a nice conversation with her and said it to her. She was so nice. <laughs> yeah, she's very straightforward and very yeah natural person. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I met her only in this couple of minutes you know, after concert. I played in the same hall the day before. Oh, I see. She was rehearsing there and it just came over. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> really? Oh, I see. London, yeah. And she has also her own piano always with her. Yes. And I I was listening to her um, practicing on, on mm -hmm. the stage. And I found that it's also very interesting um, how she chooses her instrument. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. Very special instrument also she has with her. So she's she's one of my, I think top five. And oh, of course, Alfred Brendel is amazing. Alfred Brendel, yeah, yeah, yeah. You studied with Again. him too, right? Yes, I I, I did. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. worked with him the first time when I was fifteen years old. Yes, and he was the one who inspired me a lot and who was really supportive. Who helped me to find my first steps in the music industry and who helped me to um, to meet some people who mm -hmm. I worked with later mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. was really there for me to support me not only as a musician but mm -hmm. also as a who has to <laughs> somehow come into this musical world and perform and yeah, it, it was it was a big um, a big inspiration, and I'm very happy that I met him because he's not only a very inspiring artist but also a very supporting person and mm. a very mm. cool person. <laughs> very funny, has a huge knowledge. It's very he's very creative, and I learned a lot from him, which is also a new world mm -hmm. for me. He has a total different technique of even the position of holding hands, yeah, the position yeah. of how he sits at the piano, that was really different like I did before. Oh. Before I worked with him, I was very much inspired by, for example, um, Yevgeny Kissin, yeah, who is yeah, also yeah. one of my very favorite mm -hmm. pianists. And he's he has a very huge intuition and he moves a lot when he plays and mm -hmm. he has very 
moving hands, yes. a lot mm. of freedom mm. at the piano, which also comes from yeah, just different body language and different mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. expression. And Alfred Brandl's performing is a different world, and I, I learned a lot from him about performances of Schubert and yeah. Beethoven. Yeah. And we also worked a lot uh, on Chopin performances, which is not his, uh, not the repertoire that he yeah, was understand. Using yeah. for mm-hmm. me. But that was very, very interesting for me also to work the piano concertos and sonata oh. and, and sonatas. And, I'm um, talking very specifically, uh, like in, let's say, uh, when you study with Alfred Brendel, the concertos, Chopin concertos, like like phrasing or what the tonality. What is the what is what exactly? I like to know this in detail. What what you learned from him? Um, one of Example. the first things that ca- came to my mind is that he sees nearly every every piano piece as a chamber music piece. Mm-hmm. Mm. And yeah, yeah, his way of thinking is more that every voice counts, and um, like a connection between the voices and which one is important right now. But you never forget like the I other like a ones. counterpoint, more like a... yeah, you don't have a like a supportive voice, but the two of them are different. Yes. And yes. which yes. instrument could this be, and how yes. can you? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, of mm, this instrument mm. and he a little bit changed my hand position mm-hmm. which was with less movings more focused on that everything is perfectly together and mm. on, on this he, he's very detailed mm-hmm. and, yeah it's it's super interesting to have this different influences from different piano schools and it's then interesting. find interesting. out what what is your personal voice? What is your way of playing? Mm. So how long did you study with Alfred Brendel? Oh, during many many years. Oh, in London. Uh huh. Was it in London? Did you go to London or? Yes, I have been many times in London, but sometimes we also met in different uh, cities, countries, wherever. Mm. Or. Sometimes it was closer to me in Hannover in Germany or in Vienna. Or oh, so the first time you studied, in, uh, you met Alfred Brendel, you wanted to have a lesson with, so you went to see him. Or did you meet him naturally when you're performing? Oh, I was 15 years old yeah. and I played in Germany in yes. a concert hall. The concert was recorded by a big radio station. Yeah. And then I asked the radio station to send me this recording. That was one of my first ever professional recordings. Mm-hmm. And I made a copy and sent yes. it a letter to London mm-hmm. to Alfred Brendel. And he called back a few weeks oh. later. <laughs> yeah, very lucky. So you, of course, admired him as a musician, as a pianist before then. Yes. Yes. Oh. And I somehow had the feeling that this recording, which was, um, that was something from Beethoven, I don't exactly mm. remember, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hubert and Chopin Fantasy F minor. Yes, yes. And um, some encores, and I just sent it to him this recording, and I didn't know if he would ever reply, and he was mm. so friendly and invited me to London to play for him. Oh, very, very interesting and very lucky. And made a really good, great influence on your career, probably, right? Yes. Mm, yeah, yes, yes. And um, so, so you are now um, performing most of the time. So you're not always traveling, right? You must be traveling most of the time. I travel a lot. Sometimes I also appreciate to be at home for mm. a week or two because it gives me the freedom to um, prepare new pieces. Yes, yes, yes. To calm down, mm. and mentally go through all the past performances and prepare for the next ones. So, yeah. But and yes, when, I, you're not pra- yeah. when you're not practicing, what do you do? Oh, I spend time with my family. Yes. I have a son who is three and a half years old. Oh, is it he? Oh, really? 
Yes, a boy. And um, cooking, but not so much as I did before because there is not so much time. So he's a, your son, does he, are you going to teach him to play the piano? Or is he oh, playing? He's very curious about everything and we have a piano at home. So sometimes he sits at the piano and I teach him the score. I teach him, I try to teach or to show him everything that I can show. Oh. I'm, it's it's for me, for me, it's not important that he is going to be a professional oh. musician. Yeah. I want him to discover also the world yes. of music. Oh. And... <laughs> oh, so is his father a musician also? Your... He has also a creative profession. He's uh, making movies and oh. he's also very much connected to music and art. And... So he's not a pianist, but he's of course an artist. Yes. yes. Oh, so when, what do you speak Russian to your son? Or what language do you use? Uh, yes, I uh, try to follow the rule that yeah. I always speak Russian with him when we are alone and when we are all together, we speak German. Oh, I see. So he, he will learn already two or three languages very soon. Oh, I, I see. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and do you like cooking too? Yes, cooking, reading, watching movies. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when you are touring, who, your who is taking care of your son? Your parents and uh, your husband? Yes, family. Yeah. So you must miss him, right? When you're traveling. Of course, of course, I do. And I think it's very important when we are together with our family that we switch off the phones, that we have eye contact, and communication yeah. and make yeah. nice memories and yeah and he 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 knows that so mama is sometimes traveling sometimes she's yeah. at home and that's he knows that already because i started to travel already when he was not even three months old we already started oh, to yeah. travel sometimes together and yeah two or three days i traveled by myself and i came back home so he he learned it very early that i'm sometimes there and sometimes not yeah 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 and you have quite big hands right yeah <laughs> uh, uh which to which uh do you reach 10th 12th easily uh 13th i can reach. Third, oh so yeah, like playing yeah, rough uh, this might be quite easy the chords yes i can reach the big chords yeah, yes I, I think i'm yeah they're quite big so. i'm yeah, also yeah. very tall i'm one uh, 174. oh like <laughs> so you can be a model even yeah i thought you're very tall and you know but especially your hands i could see you know you could play the chords easily and the sound is so you know full so yeah, Rachmaninoff feels very comfortable for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, which is your favorite piano concerto to perform? To perform? To perform, I love all of them. Yeah. Uh, the second Especially. I performed the most, I performed it more than 60 times. I think already. That's Rachmaninoff second? Yes. Yeah. And I really love the story of this piano concerto. Yeah. Um, it was dedicated from Rachmaninoff to his doctor uh -huh. Mr. yeah 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 had very personal connection with him which must have been also a kind of friendship because he was a very very supportive mm. and helpful mm. person mm -hmm. who also visited his concerts and who was supportive with things like stage fright and mm. um Rahmaninov went through a hard personal time which mm -hmm. was during many years uh, one of the reasons were that his first symphony was not successful at all yeah and he yeah personal issues and he really went through a personal crisis and yes he met this doctor mm. who mm. Uh, he dedicated this mm. concert to later and i think that we really can hear and feel that he is describing all his way in this piano concerto, which has a lot of actually drama and mm -hmm. melancholy and darkness in between and such a diversity of different emotions. And then you have such a 
joyful um, solution in the end. Yeah. Which is so amazingly beautiful that it really moves to tears. And yeah. That's a very genius piece of music. And I really, in general, love about Hermaninov that the music is so rich in sound and there's so mm. many voices and mm. long phrases and really from deep heart and soul. Yeah. Do you play the Scribbing Concerto? I didn't play before. But I know you this have... music, of course. Ah, in future, do you like to learn the piece? I, there's a Scribbing Concerto, sure. right? One. Yes, there there is one. And um, in general, this is this is the beautiful thing. I think that we pianists can choose from so much beautiful repertoire. Yeah. And I started to be more careful with um, with planning my time so that I have enough time to mm. play all the different uh, concerts, all mm -hmm. the different repertoire, and still mm -hmm. have time to learn new pieces because it takes time. And... So when are you coming to Japan next? I will come to Japan in June. Yeah, I see. It's almost uh, five months, six months. Yes, I'm looking forward very much. So what, uh, I... what are you going to do? Are you going to play the concerto and the recital, both? Yes, I'm going to play the second piano concerto of Rachmaninoff. Yes. And I'm going to play sol solo recital program also with the four ballads. Oh, four ballads, yeah. Mm -hmm. By Chopin and some Beethoven sonatas. I'm looking so, forward to it. A so, bit, which, which sonata? Uh, the Pathétique. Yeah. And uh, Opus 110. Oh, I see. A oh, big problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, 110, yeah. And so in the end, uh, could you give this message to young students who are learning piano for this magazine? Um, in general, I think that it's a very, very beautiful profession that we do. And from my personal experience, hmm. it's very important to listen to our intuition and to play what our heart and intuition tells us to play and to ask yourself if what you're doing is really what you do, hmm. because every artist is unique and has to find an own way of expressing an own way to existing in this world. Yeah. And I think the motivation should always be the art itself mm -hmm. and love to the music because it's it's this is what it's all about. Yeah, yes, it's true. Yeah. Okay, so hope to see you soon and good luck with your tour. Thank you so much. Good okay. luck to you also with everything. Very nice okay. to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.